This house is known as the Pottery House, originally designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. This home is the only adobe that was ever designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and it's the only one that exists. All of the interior woodwork is vertical grain dug fir, and during the time of construction, uh, the, the general contractor actually brought in shipbuilders from Scandinavia to do the interior finish work. This home has extremely thick walls that have a, a contour that runs the entire length of the house. And the way that they constructed it is they actually built a narrow gauge railroad along the ground and then built custom cars with these blades that were set at particular angles to get a consistent and smooth radius throughout the house. And so the railroad car, if you can imagine, went on that narrow gauge and just literally carved the side of the house because it's adobe, which is a mud brick. Um, that's one of the reasons that it's believed this property is known as the Pottery House is because it's built from earth. So um, the story goes that Frank Lloyd Wright lost, I think it was his first wife as well as several children to a tragic house fire that occurred in one of his properties um, in the Midwest and there was not water readily available to fight the fire. And I've been told that since that day forward, he designed every house with a pool as a part of it. Um, this house is no exception. It has a beautiful uh, half moon shaped pool that has a canal which leads from the pool, it goes underneath this cute footbridge and leads directly into one of the bathrooms on the house. There's very few straight lines on the whole throughout the entire house and you can feel a real deep connection both to the outdoors as well as the interior spaces. One of, one of Frank Lloyd Wright's disciples, Bruce Pfeiffer, has said that living in a Frank Lloyd Wright home can change you.